It's time for the main event of the evening. Proudly presented to you by Gasoline Alley, Harley Davidson. Screw it, let's do it. Your three judges sitting cake side are Paul Jones, Alan Gould, and Wayne Mead. The attending position here tonight, Dr. Phil Bailey. And when the action gets underway, the man in the middle, Brad Vicali. And now, from the Logan Metro Sports Centre, it's fight time! Five to three minute rounds, full of tie rules, 76 kilogram division. Super middleweight CMT super fight. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a fight record, 64 fights, 100, sorry, 114 fights, 66 wins, 178 centimeters tall, weighing in at 75.7 kilograms. Trained out of elite boxing in Bangkok, and representing New Zealand he is the current WKA South Pacific and S1 World Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Sokau Suka. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. With 120 fights, 90 wins, 40 by way of a knockout. Undefeated inside of the CMT cage. He stands 180 centimeters tall, weighing in at 75.75 kilograms. Trained out of the Boon Chu Gym on the Gold Coast. He is a 10 times world champion. Representing Australia, ladies and gentlemen, the Gunslinger, John Wayne Barr. The Logan Underground erupts hammer as their prince, their king, their emperor is announced. And it's time for our main event here at CMT6, Kerr gentlemen, versus Parr. I gave you both some very firm instructions of the rules. Referee Brad Vicali administering the final instructions. I don't know when he punches or kicks to the back and of the head. And then these two men who both weighed in under 76 kilos will do five by three minute rounds. Full tie rules with all the business I am so looking forward to Well, something special, what we're seeing in centering now is a composite of 234 fights between the two of them. Here we go, gentlemen, it's time for the big show. Say it again for you, folks. 34 fights between these two gentlemen here, over 100 each, of course. And not uh, backyard fights, we're talking fights we're with talking the odds Clay, Orono, uh, you know, you name it. And that really, I suppose, for Kerr, it's going to be a matter of, as we Super said earlier, CMT. everything to gain, not a lot to Super lose. Fight. A fighter that has been under the radar and not had the accolades Daniel that Sork perhaps he so deserves. And the Tonight he gets his opportunity to step up and take on the best and stamp his name as the best Daniel Kerr. But, Bex, I'll tell you this, sometimes in these occasions, I've seen fighters who have Let's looked up or, or looked across Make to a fighter noise. of the calibre of John Wayne Parr, almost not fight to their true potential because they're a little bit in awe of the occasion, a little bit of an awe of the person that they're fighting. In a few moments, we'll see whether Kerr's going to be affected by that. I'll give you one, Eli Madigan. Exactly. Good round good one of this, uh, round one of John Wayne Parr, Daniel Kerr. If I need to tell you who each of these men are, you haven't watched enough Muay Thai in your time. I uh, will anyhow. Parr with the red strapping on his gloves and Kerr with the blue. This one five by three at uh, 76 kilos. Look for Kerr to be throwing some uh, less conventional techniques. Uh, a lot of stepping out and kicking, and a lot of axe kicking as well as Pa does what he always does, and that is attack that body with that left body kick. And you know, Pa punches. Have a look at Pa now, teeing off. The, the head of Kerr. coming forward. And there's the experience of Daniel Kerr locking up and shutting down Pa's striking. He knows rather than get the ego, rather than get the ego match going, 
Kerr Ford has well, adapted a, a smart tactic there. Shut Par down, got into the clinch. Par changing levels now, hitting the body, hitting the head, setting up for his next attack. Very few men are going to beat Wayne Par in a boxing match in the Muay Thai community. Catch and counter, Par. Catch and counter, very nice. And Kerr goes to sweep as Par's 45 elbow evades his chin by a matter of millimetres. I'll tell you what, Bex, I'm seeing absolutely no signs of ring rust from John Wayne Par. Absolutely none. He's, he's stepped back right to where he was at his uh, brutal best. He wanted to make a statement, he said, after the crushing defeat to Toby Smith. He wanted to tell everyone he's back. Kerr is a fighter of world class. And early in this first round, we are seeing a busy champion, the champion we remember. He's done the hard work down there at uh, his Boonchu gym on the Gold Coast. And, uh, he's de certainly stepped in ready. And looking at uh, the two body types here, they're, they're almost identical, you know, they're, they're powerfully built for this weight division. Same height and reach. There's a nice push kick to the face from Kerr. Very solid shins, the, the side pair kick. of them. And that, that is really something that Parr's going to have to look out for. The, um, so it's the unorthodox. The axe kick. The unorthodox, non-traditional Thai style kicking of Daniel Kerr. He'll employ all sorts of tricks and, uh, and movement that Wayne won't be, at, well, wouldn't have had any preparation for because, quite honestly, there is no one around that has the ability of Kerr. Prayer. Uh, Kerr presses forward and then Par locks him up and knees him on the way down. Experience again there, showing Hammer. Both men with their, uh, in their early years of Taekwondo background as well. Yeah, Hence the reason back. that they're both such good kickers and exponents with their feet. Of course, uh, Wayne Par, really Bruce Lee movies and uh, all the, the martial art movies that were going around in the day inspired a lot of young men to take up martial arts. And of course, Wayne Par, one of them. Spinning back kick of his own to end the round. Wayne Par saying he has a few kick tricks and kicks of his own. 10 9 to the gunslinger. As we move into this second round, Brad Vicali moves out of the way, and Wayne Parr and Daniel Kirk can go at it again. CMT round 6 2. Bex Tui, oh, turning Mark back the kick. Hammer, Cassadini, wow, seeks some stuff he loves. Turning back kick into a high head kick. And as I said, that, that could be the techniques, or some of those techniques that Wayne is uh, not accustomed to having thrown at him. Spinning heel kick. That spinning Daniel heel Kerr. kick was beautiful as, as Kerr pushes forward and tries to use his hands. But look at the defensive use of not just the cage, but the clinch by Parr. Parr working early with that left body kick and that left body rip on, on Kerr. Trying to get that to drop so that his hands, that left foot can come through later on. Uh, Kerr having the gloves plastered to his head. And I think Wayne's now picked up that his, his guard's very high when he has his, his guard his head's guarded very well, but his rib cage is not. Very so, long through uh, yeah. the torso is so Daniel Kerr. Have a look there, there's a distinct opening through the hip bone and uh, the bottom of his elbows that Wayne can zero in on with those body shots. Once again, oh, nicely timed uppercut. John Wayne Parr throws Kerr down. Straight off the clinch, just twisted and turned. Spinning heel kick. Again, it's a turning heel kick, Kerr. This is entertaining stuff. Two of the best knack boys in the world, and it's like old times. Just when the opponent starts to get the upper hand, John Wayne Parr does enough to score. This is the way it works. And has done for so long. Oh! oh! The one-two straight jab. Right hook. The oh looping right oh. hook. And Daniel Kerr Five, is not going to get up. Six, John Wayne Parr seven, is going to return. He's still shaky, he's still Very shaky, cagey. he's still we'll shaky, see. knee to the face, knee to the face, Kerr trying to hang on. John Wayne Survive. Parr will try and finish this hammer, that's the way he rolls. Jumping knee to the face of John Wayne Park, caught Kerr on the jawline. Kerr clever tactics, stalling for time, every second counts. He's Wayne just Park. saying, I didn't hear the referee. <laughs> still, even though he's shaky, he still does the, tries for the, uh, for the axe kick. Got Wayne again, left. bombing, bombing.
Revolution, John Once Wayne again, Hart. Thanks to Jack oh, Hart, Alley. Turn, Alley. Back Hart. Hart. turn back the clock, Hammer. Turn back the clock. Put me in my 1997 Lancer, and I'll drive home to Mum and Dad's house, because Wayne Park has just shown us the hands and defensive skills that made him a superstar. I'll tell you what, it was the uppercut that caught him plump, and then it was just an onslaught of brutal punches from Wayne Park. See here, there that was jab the and the looping left. right yeah. hand. That Beautifully was... stretched out, long jab, and then just turned that right hook nicely. And that was uh, almost the beginning of the end for Kerr. But resilience and resistant he was looked... to Wayne Parr's attacks. Daniel Kerr looked gone for all money, particularly after oh. that first knockdown. Ben, come up. Daniel Kerr, what a tough All son of a... All gasoline, Ali, Harley, Davidson. I told you, I told you, you cannot ride Kerr off. But uh, at this point, it's uh, John Wayne Park looking to be back to his best. Here we are, round three of our CMT Super oh, Fight. Oh, one-two Kerr. Kerr. Through the guard, one-two Kerr got through Park's guard. The Park lightning fast, the uppercuts again, trying to rally in. Kerr keeping on the knee guard, holding the cage. He'll get a warning time, yeah. But uh, again, little sneaky tactics, but uh, preservation is paramount in Kerr's mind. Beautiful switch up with the left and the right kick from Daniel Kerr there, Hammer. And I tell you, Wayne Parr's been punching in volumes like he used to, but Daniel Kerr's been firing back just as many as he does a spin into an attempted oh, kick and puts a right hand on the button. Right, it's that right hook. Pass throwing a beautifully turned right hook on, his rear. And it's just got so much power. You've got to think about your right hand side as being the loaded side. And he's not throwing it straight. He's throwing it around the guard of Kerr. And he's rotating his hip and shoulder beautifully. Full transition of power getting right through the guard of Kerr. The and, former uh, Australian middleweight boxing champion. Shows why his hand skills have been that sharpened up a treat. John Wayne Parr, the veteran. And we see here again, locking Kerr up in the corner. Kerr very busy for a man who was who was put on his backside twice in the previous round. Still very busy and still looking for it. Uh, but uh, John Wayne Parr, for all of you guys at home going, oh, I'm a little bit old, you know, I don't know if I can train, I don't know if I should go to the gym or what have you. 38 years of age, get off your ass, get down to the gym, get yourselves in shape. John Wayne Parr, 38 years of age and still firing like a teenager. He's got Kerr in all sorts of trouble. Kerr is eating Lots serious weather. The uppercut oh, comes. Oh. Two right hooks, three right hooks. Is Brad McCarley, the referee, going to step in as Kerr goes down? Oh, He's God. called it off. It oh. is all. from this man from Queensland. I tell you what, I said it in the first round and it transitioned the whole way through the fight. Back to his brilliant best. No signs of ring rust, no signs of fatigue, no signs of lack of fitness. The Against whole way, foot to the floor, acceleration from the very first round. John Wayne Park is a testament to, uh, you know, to himself and uh, his resolve in training and uh, everyone he represents. Have a look at him go. There's two, three, four right hands there. It was that looping right hand that you've been calling all fight hammer. That was the one that did the damage. Let's and make it admiration official. admiration for Kerr for being, you know, so good in, as an opponent and uh, more admiration for John Wayne Parr, the legend. Your referee showing what he's made of and showing In a time of two minutes done. and three seconds in the third Not round. Not much more to say and on that, Mark. The Hammer Castellini. By way of T. K.O. As the, the result is confirmed. And geez, he loves John it. Like he's 18 Wayne years old. Oh, Jupiter's again on the goalpost. Victory is sweet. The return of John Wayne Parr.